Hello, so it's Phil from Digital DJ Tips again. We've already covered in this Tractor mini series how to get the software onto your computer and also how to plug in your speakers and headphones. And before we move on to the clever stuff, the mixing and the effects and so on, there's one very important thing we need to cover. Over to you, Steve. So in this video, we're gonna look at getting your music into Tractor because let's face it, that's the music that you wanna DJ with, I'm sure. And what we're gonna do for this, so we can see a bit more of what's going on with the browser, is go into Browser View, which you do by hitting the space bar. I'm gonna do that on both the PC and the Mac here. And this gives us a much wider view of what we're looking at. Now on the left here, you can see all of the folders. Now these are the folders on your computer or on external hard drives, anywhere where music may be, and also the folders of Tractor's own track collection. Now what the collection is, is either music that you've already played in Tractor, or a track that you're currently playing in Tractor, or tracks that you might want to play in Tractor in the future that you've already prepared within the collection. Now, tracks in the collection are not copies of your tracks. They haven't been moved from the current location. Tractor has just saved its own data about the track to store important information like the track's key and BPM. Um, but how do tracks get into the collection? Well, let me explain a bit more about that. What tends to happen when you first open up Tractor and you want to play your own music is you look on, in this menu on the left and you'll see iTunes if you want to use iTunes or you'll see your music folders and you'll go in there and you'll find one of your tunes and pick it up, put it on a deck and hit play. Great, okay, so I've got one of my tracks playing, that's pretty cool. But what's actually happened there is it's not only playing the track, it has also imported it into the collection and analyzed the track. And you saw that there was a progress bar across the bottom there during the analysis. And that's where Tractor is identifying the BPM of the track, the key and creating a waveform and adding any cover artwork. But here's the thing, if you're actually DJing, every time you import and analyze a track individually like that, it takes a bit of time to complete the analysis as you saw. So I strongly recommend that you import and analyze all the tracks you want to use in Tractor ahead of time in bulk. Now another advantage of having your tracks imported and analyzed is that you can easily search for tracks and filter your searches by things like BPM and key to help you find your perfect next tune super fast and it's not possible unless it's been imported and analyzed. So you can bulk import tracks from iTunes or your music folders. So starting with iTunes, let's look at how you do it. Down here on the left, you select library. This will bring up all the tracks in the main window here that are in your iTunes library. You can select all of them, either by grabbing the top and the bottom one or clicking Command A for, for all, and then pick them up and drop them into the track collection. Now you get asked if you want to analyze the tracks. Click OK, and then the analyzing process begins. You can see it at the bottom there. Now this may take some time depending on how big your collection is, but once it's done, it's done. And then all of that information's in Tractor and it never has to analyze the tracks again. Now, of course, you might not use iTunes. You might have your music in other places. So here's how you'd find your music and get it into your collection from somewhere else. You click on the Explorer folder in the menu down here. And wherever your music is kept on your, on your computer, navigate your way to there and you'll find it. And you can see here, I've got a folder called Pop Tunes. Um, so for a kind of a, a different flavor, a different type of gig. And again, I'm gonna select all of those pick those up, scroll to the top, drop them on the track collection, and click OK for Analyze, and there you go. So now you've learned the difference between Tractor's collection and your own music library, why it's important to import and analyze your music ahead of time, and how to do that from both iTunes or your other music folders. So I hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next video.